Good morning everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Oh, I'm just out at my local, local cafe, it's called Crafter's Heart. It's a bloody good spot, it's actually a thrift shop and an op shop, but it's also a cafe. <laughs> so I got my banana smoothie, Let's check it out. It goes all the way in there up, it's two story. They sell all sorts of stuff, it's actually really cool. So if you're ever in Nambour, check them out, just don't stalk me. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to service the bike. I'm actually gonna do a three hole service, you know? Good old three hole. <laughs> Never done one before, so this is the first time I'm doing it. I'm a bit nervous, but um, it's pretty straightforward, I think. It's pretty straightforward. So yesterday I popped into Sunshine Coast Harley, got all my oils, filters, everything I needed. So it's gonna, I don't know how long it takes yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't get too triggered like uh, the last service. But shout out to Dorman, he sent me the um, the oil filter remover. So I'm going to definitely use that tool today. And I don't think we'll have a problem. Famous last words. <laughs> but yeah, oh. Also, it's been raining and so humid for the last three weeks. And I said that in the last video, but guess what? It hasn't stopped and it's forecasted to rain for the next week. How good's that? I'm just going to have to send it. I'm just going to have to go for a ride in the rain. Just going to have to do it. Hey, rain, hail, or shine. <laughs> All right, well, I'll finish my smoothie anyway, and then I'll, um, we'll head back home. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, let's try not to get ran over <laughs> nearly every time at this intersection. Back at the bike. How sexy are these bloody hog lights, mate? So if you just want to get yourself some, use code gnarly10. They're bloody awesome, holy crap. They do over 3,000 different products, which is crazy in all sorts of brands, not just Harleys, so check them out. All right, let's get home, service the bike. It's already gonna be, um, it's already gonna be warmed up now, because I started down here at the, uh, the cafe, so. All right, let's go, let's go service this bad boy. Yeah, someone wanna tell me why my bike does this. I'm pretty sure my battery's not flat. Look, the alarm just starts going off. Dead set, does my head in, mate. The battery's fine, it's not flat. It, on, it has a new one in there, I put a new one in. It still does this stupid crap. Oh, now it's working. I put the stand up and I sat on it now, and now it wants to work. Yeah, it makes sense. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go. back home now full wardrobe change because we're doing a service jumped into clothes that I don't care about as you can see I'm already bloody sweating it's ridiculously humid here gotta love it <clears throat> all right this is exciting this is what I've got check it out so I've got the K&N kit to clean the uh, the air filter for the gear oil we've got the clutch uh, sorry <laughs> the chain case uh, transmission oil um, and then we've got the just the motor oil. So, and then you've got the spike plugs, filter, I've got some extra funnels, and the catchy thing that you guys recommended for me last time. And then also the um, the clutch seal thingy, majiggy, disc, cool. I don't know what it's called. Don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, let's get stuck in this three hole service. Before you do anything, what you wanna do is um chalk up your bike. So it's standing somewhat upright um, so everything drains out easier and when you top up your um <clears throat> your oil um you can get the right amount in because i was told you do it by eye and when you see it on the bottom of the um the gear that's when you stop so i think it takes about a liter anyway i'll show you once we get there <laughs> let's keep going all right let's get started eh you need something to catch the oil in obviously Yep, put that under there. Got a couple of extra funnels as well, just to make sure um, it goes as smoothly as possible. All right, let's start draining this puppy, eh, while it's still hot. 
make sure you do that because it thins out the oil and it, it runs out quicker. Supposedly you want to undo the filler. Um, apparently it makes it a lot easier to, to drain. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if I could ever undo this thing. I never do it up tight. There's still, still plenty in there. It's pretty good. At least it's not a leaky boy. All right, so leave that cracked. All right, start over the left side of your bike here where your derby cover is, your primary. So this is your primary bolt. This is your main oil pan bolt. Um, they're both the same size. Make sure you get your oil pan handy just in case. I'm getting ready to drop the oils. Here I'm using a 16 mil. I don't know what it is in American style type things, but yeah, that one's already loose. That's very concerning. Um, oh, I'm gonna take this little stand rubber thing off. Whatever it is, man, I don't even know. I think it's for the stand. All right, and then you can get in here. Lefty. Oh yeah, that felt awesome, mate. I did that last time, didn't I? Anyway, so yeah. All right, so now we've cracked the the primary and the main oil pan one. Your tranny's on the other side, not the one with a penis and looks like a female, but the transmission bolt. That's on the other side. I'll show you that in a second. So let's do that. All right, let's start draining these actually. If I can get my hand in here. Let's not try and burn myself, shall we? Hey, if anyone got offended by that, it's just a joke. Ooh. That is, um, that is spicy. Looks like that's overdue. All right, let me just do the next one. Yep, shoulder's already hurting. Love this. This is why if you have money, oh yeah. So if you have money, you just pay someone to do it. Oh, oh, yep, oh. Ah, yes, lovely. Nice brown surprise. You inspect the end of your bolt, there's a little magnet on there. Looks good. There's no metal shavings at all. I'd expect it like a little bit, but there's nothing. That's good, you healthy fat bob, you. Oh, you're such a good, good machine. I love you so much. All right, let me clean this up a bit. <laughs> As you can hopefully see on this, the O-ring here is absolutely flogged. So that's why you, every time you do a service, always get new O-rings. As you can see, this is from this service I did recently. The O-ring is still solid, but you change it anyway. It's always um, better safe than sorry. You don't want your oil leaking out when you're on a long trip or something. All right, we'll take our derby cover off. They've got these weird little hex head things. I don't even know the technical name for these. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Your little star tool, mate. Little star tool. And then you just put it in there, mate. You go lefty, loosey, righty, bloody, tidy. All right? All right, once, you, once you've got them all cracked, if you have like a ratchet version of this, I'd switch to that. I'd recommend leaving the um, top one to last so you can still catch your little derby cover. There you go. There's your fancy clutch. Yeah, man. There's your fancy clutch, man. Go for the love, man, man. Anyway, so we'll probably fill this one up first just because it's open and exposed. We want to get the oil back in here back nice and sealed up. It recommends, I think it takes about a litre, so we'll, we'll start topping that bad boy up. <laughs> I nearly forgot, I, started, I nearly started topping this up before putting the bolts back in. Get your new O-rings, chuck them on your bolts, put the bolts back in the bottom, let's do that. Kinda look like a doctor. Anyway, <laughs> not really. Be a very seedy doctor. Hmm. <laughs> Has anyone done that before? Anyone not put your bolts back in and then you started filling up with oil? Let me know. Uh, I nearly done it. I nearly done it. All right. Also, I apologize, guys. I don't know the torque specs, mate, because I'm Australian. I just do it up. I'll, and then I say she'll be right. So uh, I apologize for that. Because you know what? She'll be right always works. This is what you do. Chuck it on there. Go like that. You go. 
Oh, she'll be right. That's nice and firm. And that's it. Set and forget, mate. All right, next bolt back in. I don't even know what that thing does, mate. What's it doing, bro? Where do I... I know it goes here somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, you... Stay on, bro. Get on there. Whatever, stay in there. Done with that stupid piece of rubber. Whatever. All right, it's time to fill this puppy up. So grab your primary oil. Um, this is 946 mil, so it comes in exactly how much you need. Um, and you can't really overfill it. As I said earlier, you, your bike, get your bike level, and then it shouldn't come out of this, this hole here. So it should be perfectly just below there, just enough to cover the gear in, inside, gear, mechanism, clutch, whatever. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't come out of this little hole here. So yeah, it's it's one quart or just just shy of um, just shy of a liter. So yeah, one quart, 946 mils. So you just pour this whole thing in and you're you're good to go. You can get these little funnels anywhere. Um, I think it's called AutoZone. Um, other parts of the world, super cheap auto over here, auto barn stuff like that. I get my oil from Harley just because. I don't know. <laughs> in the back of my mind, I have like this. Yeah, awesome. In the back of my mind, I have this idea that I need to get everything from Harley. It's not the case. You can get oil from other places, but yeah, just easy. I'm always going in there. Here we go. You should be able to see that. See it right there. Just there. So it's just below that indent crevice hole thing just enough and that's the perfect amount so as long as you buy that bottle pour the whole thing in you've drained it all out you're good sweet next step make sure your derby cup is clean you've cleaned everything off the inside because the worst thing that could happen is you get like a rock or something in there and um, that's bad news all right and then you get your little derby cover seal i don't know the technical name for it leave me alone it's a frisbee it's a disc get that bloke pretty straightforward towards clutch so that's what you want to do towards clutch all right shuck him on the back line up the holes there we go all right once you got your top one in what you want to do here just like everything just like undoing a wheel off your car blah 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 you want to go on a star pattern so you want to you want to nip them all up just a little bit and then tighten 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 so you want to go in a star pattern. Boom, 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 boom. Easy. Boom. 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 So that's to talk. That's about two Arnold Schwarzeneggers. Um, yeah. Or if in uh, Aussie Bogan terms, that's about two She'll Be Rights. So She'll Be Right, mate. That's um, you know nice and firm on the uh, the old the old hand muscles there. All right, next, let's get this uh, fuel filter off. We'll change that. Grab your Harley Davidson um, oil filter tool, or oil filter tool in general. It's my first time using this thing. I'll just put this little extension on because I'm trying to get away with not taking the, um, the gear lever off. All right, we've got that extension on. Lefty Lucy. Before we um before we undo this, you want to put rags, stuff a shirt or a rag underneath the um the filter because you don't want oil to go everywhere. I still don't have one of those fancy, oh they're not fancy I guess, but you can get these little catches that catch the oil sort of thing. Yeah, look, I don't have that. I've just got my half a brain and this. All right. Anyway. Lefty Lucy. Get it to the point where you can just turn by hand, be as fast as possible. Maybe you won't spill as much oil. Um, but highly doubt it, it's all over the floor. That's awesome. Yep. What are you. What, can't you get this out? Oh my god. Yep.
Yep, there's oil all over the GoPro, that's awesome, yep, love my life, yep. Oh, yep, yeah, love some oil stains on the concrete, that's awesome, yeah. Now, a nice big mess, mate, that's how you do it. All right, now the um, old fuel filter's out. Uh, you can screw in the new one. Yeah, hit the seal with a bit of oil in the thread as well. All right, Just screw on pretty easily. Do it pretty much should only really be hand tight so as hard as you sort of as hard as you can with your hand nice and firm so now we get our engine oil it takes 2.8 liters or three quarts let's use this one get your funnel and whack in 2.8 liters for the fat bob or three quarts oops awesome yep oh wow you guys probably think i'm just doing this crap on purpose don't you nah i'm just an idiot pour slower tip for young players or just get a bigger funnel to be honest so obviously because this had 3.78 liters in it and i need 2.8 i'm just going to go down to pretty much one liter i should be roughly Roughly on the money. There we are, we've got about a, a litre left. So that'll be bang on roughly, 2.8. It'll be very close, but it's best to check it first anyway. I'm not sure what's going on. Have I overfilled this thing? I don't understand. Whatever, I'm chucking this thing back in for now. I followed the instructions. Freaking oil everywhere. Getting getting pretty triggered to be honest <sighs> look I'm soaking wet that's how hot it is here humid I'm sweating got oil all over the GoPro oil over the handle oil over the floor all over me yeah can't even speak English anymore it's awesome <sighs> that thing's reading like the whole dipstick Anyway, it said to put in 2.8, put in 2.8, so it is what it is. Stuff the thing, if it starts blowing seals, it is what it is. Get a new bike, don't care. All right, had my little hissy fit. Anyway, so so this says 3.78 liters. I've got pretty much a liter left. So you take one off of 3.7, that would be 2.78. So pretty much 2.8, which is what it says. I don't know. I don't know, man. The manual just confused me. This is why I don't read manuals, mate. Anyway, it's fun. This is fun. It's why you pay someone to do it. But no, as I say, it's worth it. <laughs> if I had the cash, if I had the cash, mate, I'd be paying someone. Dead set. All right, on to the tranny. I'm not going to... Transmission. There's two trannies these days. Onto the transmission, let's do that. I'll show you where the bolt is and we'll undo it, drain it, and then fill up the tranny. Transmission. All right, so on the right side of the bike, you've got your, your main uh, filler, and then you've got your transmission. It'll say six speed on here. Um, there's your filler for it here. And then if you come just straight down from it, if you come straight down from it below, you will see Apologize for the camera angles. This one, you're gonna undo that one. It's the same size as the rest. Ah, yep. Yeah. Love jamming fingers. Every time. Every time, man. Something's wrong with me, dude. Just freaking injury prone when working on my stuff. This is just, it can't be just me, man. It can't be just me. Do you guys jam your fingers and smash your knuckles all the time? Because I do. All right, drop your trans fluid. Transmission fluid, sorry. No metal shavings on this one either. That's always good. All right, that's all drained out. The new O-ring is on, and um, we'll put this back in, and then we'll, um, we'll fill her up, eh? Also, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I do get upset sometimes. I do get a bit frustrated. But don't we all? And if you don't, you're lying. 
I know everyone gets frustrated depending on what it is. I don't know. Man, it's hot. It's hot. And things never go to plan for me. And I get a bit frustrated. It's all good. <laughs> I'm just keeping it open and honest and real here. So if you don't like it, I don't know. Too bad. <laughs> Alright, let's chuck this back in and fill her up. Let's go. I'm already over it. It's taken like two hours. The service doesn't take this long. But it's me, isn't it? Just remember, hit it with about two Shilby rights. It's about two Shilby rights. Now we're going to undo this. Fill her up. Big dog Allen key. Is that the right size? Oh, it is. That's not even tight. What the hell? It's concerning. A couple of these haven't been very tight. Take that puppy out. It has its own little um, dipstick. All right, awesome. That's all loosened off. Get your gear oil now, or transmission oil, gear oil. Um, this one is a heavy synthetic. So get this. The capacity, again, is the perfect bottle size. I love how they do that. And most of the six speeds are exactly the same. So it's nine, 950 mils or one quarts for the US. 950 mil pretty much, pour the whole thing in and we should be good to go. Pop this guy in. A nice slow pour so you don't do what happened to me <laughs> earlier. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this one's perfect. It's right on the full mark, which is nice. Unlike the main oil pan. It's unfortunate. Might have to drain some out, to be honest. Oh, awesome. So that's pretty much your three-hole service done. Super simple, kind of. Um, if everything goes smoothly, which it never does for me. <laughs> anyway, I think I might actually just drain some out of that because I did read that obviously the oil doesn't fully come out of the motor. So apparently I'm only meant to put 2.5 litres in and I put 2.8, which is the capacity of, of like the full fuel oil capacity of the motor. Uh, so I might just drain a little bit out just to be safe. I don't want it to blow seals or whatever. Um, I don't know if that will happen, but it's better safe than sorry. I can always put it back in. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> but I'm also just gonna quickly change these spark plugs over, put new spark plugs in it. And then I've also got the K&N air filter cleaner so we're going to clean and um, wash, we're going to clean and re-oil the, uh, the air filter. Basically, if you don't know, oiling the air filter is important because it actually catches the dust and stops it from going in. That's the reason why you oil it. So you might be thinking, oh, but it's going to suck in oil. No, it's only a light mist. It just catches the oil and stops it from um, going through into the motor. So it's just kind of like a little, makes it like, I don't know, I don't know explain it. <laughs> I just did. Anyway, yeah, anyway, let's do that. I'm gonna quickly take a little bit out of this. I won't show you that stuff. And then um, we're, we're just gonna change the spark plugs, oil the filter, and then we're done. How good's that? So, yeah. All right, ended up just grabbing the 17 mil because I don't have the right tool. So that's okay, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Oh, not bad. Alright, that's weird. The specs at 0.4. That looks like a massive gap. So, <laughs> bit of confusion here when I was changing the plug. It says adjust spark plug gap per owner's manual specifications. And I looked at the plugs I pulled out. I'm like, that is the exact same size gap as the brand new ones. So I might not change it. But then I googled it and it's like 0.04 on NRG's website. And then the owner's manual said nothing. So I was so confused. Anyway, I ended up calling Harley and they're like, nah, man, you don't need a gap and throw them in. I'm like, oh, well, far out. Anyway, we're sorted now. So you just pull that out we throw the new one in. Uh, this is going to be your best friend, anti-seize. Yeah, just a little bit. And then once you start screwing it in, that'll go down into the, um, that'll go in the thread there. That'll spread itself around. So yeah, just do it up by hand first. And then you'll just nick them up. You like you won't even need much pressure at all. Just like a car, if you guys do cars and all that crap. Oh, one seems a bit burnt. New one, a little bit of anti-seize on there. 
so we nip them up. So just like a a nice firm. That's about it, probably. I could go more, but you don't need to. New plugs done. All right, all three holes done, spark plugs done. Now we just clean the uh, air filter. All right, so just undo this fella just here. Undo this bloke, loosen that right off. All right, loosened it right off. Now we should just be able to twist that off. There we go. Now, gotta wash this. Pretty simple, get your cleaner, and we're gonna spray this inside and out generously. Um, and you let it soak for 10 minutes, but you don't let the you do not let the cleaner dry on it And then we'll um, we'll rinse it off. We'll come back to you in 10 minutes, but I'll start spraying this puppy uh, Time for a drink just having a nice cold Pepsi while I wait for that to dry I Really appreciate you guys watching this service. I know a lot of you already know how to do a service um, but I just want to vlog everything I do. I just want to, you know, I love learning new things and stuff. I've never done a big service like this on a bike before, so it's new to me. Um, appreciate you guys supporting um, and going easy on me because, yeah, I've, I don't know, it's my first ever Harley, guys. So, yeah, you know, it's cool. It's all exciting. All this is exciting for me. You're probably seeing me, like, excited to do this. Don't know why because I always get stressed out and lose it. <laughs> But nah, I appreciate you guys watching it, even though it's just a crummy old service on my old fatty. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. This is the first time I've ever cleaned a filter. It's the first time I've ever dropped the transmission oil, the, the primary and the main all in one go. Uh, first time I've changed spark plugs on a motorcycle before. Um, I've done all this in a car, don't get me wrong, but on a bike it's different. It's, it's new, it's exciting, I'm learning. Um, yeah, it's all a part of it. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my drink, wait for this bloody thing to um, soak in. It's meant to eat away all the dirt and grime and then you, you rinse it out and then you oil it. So, yeah, exciting. All right, grab your filter. You wanna do this gently. You don't wanna smash it and you wanna push it from the inside out, obviously. You don't want to push dirty and you want to push it out. And then you shake it off. Now we have to let this dry before we oil it. So shake it off as much as you can. Alright, just watch the YouTube video, KNN's YouTube video. It just says spray down the crown of each pleat, is what it's called. Um, just says spray generously so I don't think you can stuff it up it just says till the whole thing turns red evenly red and then you let it sit for 20 minutes and then that's it so let's do that all right we'll let that sit 20 minutes ah oh, sweet that's done that's it that's how you do a major service or three hole service big three hole um this is a big three hole service um yeah i'm just i'm not gonna wait for that bloody filter to dry it looks pretty evenly done and yeah just gonna let the oil set on that no worries um i did drop a bit of oil out of the bike and it's come down so that's good um put too much in there <laughs> uh yeah anyway i hope you, everyone enjoyed this i know it was just a service everyone knows how to do one of them if you didn't i hope you learned something um i'm learning as i go so it's awesome it's awesome um, I'll try and get out soon. It's still going to piss down for the next week, but I'm just going to get out, get in the rain, um, I'll go find something. So go for a ride somewhere, rain, hail, or shine, doesn't matter. Give you guys some more content, eh? <laughs> also, new bike reviews to come. I can't really do them in the rain because they'd just be crap. GoPro suck in low light. It is what it is. We're just going to hold off. We're just going to wait. Reviews should be done on perfect days so you can see the bikes in all their glory <laughs> anyway if you like this please like please subscribe please comment on the video it helps it get up the algorithm helps my channel grow and um that's the best way you can support me so thanks so much everyone i hope you enjoyed and um yeah 
I'll see you on the next one.